Welcome to Color Royal. <laughs> I'm looking for the perfect plant for my llama mug. What do you think of this one? Look at these. They look like jelly beans. This one is perfect. <laughs> Still can't choose between a cactus and a soft, nice succulent, but I think I'm really liking these stone-like plants. Cacti are too pointy for me. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's expensive compared to the others. Oh, well. $8, that's not too bad. I hope it doesn't die though. Yeah. <laughs> Does it need like moderate sunlight or direct sunlight? Great in succulent planters for summer outdoors. All purpose for, I never fertilize mine. Full sun, let dry okay, well, perfect. then water thoroughly. Okay. So a windowsill? Is that, that yeah, I have cute. a windowsill. That would be fine, right? Ooh, I think we found one. All right, so I just came back from a greenhouse, a little place up in Waterloo that my friend Noah took me to. And let's see what I got. This is called a sedum. It's an annual rate in succulent planters for summer outdoors. It needs full sun and I'm getting this for my alpaca or whatever. This is a llama. This is a llama. My llama planter. So I need to plant this guy in here. At first I wanted to go with another rocky looking plant. Like Look, I really like this kind. It just looks like they're little stones. And I'm gonna put this in here. And then, oh, I need some more soil. So my friend Noah is gonna get me some of his leftover soil so that I can plant this. Today's also a really hot day. I think it's getting closer and closer to springtime. It was so warm inside the greenhouse as well. I was sweating in there. So I got some milk tea and now I just need to study for my horse course quiz. So I haven't really been vlogging throughout the week because on the weekend, on Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to an event called College Royal. It is a student run open house for our university and I believe it's the biggest of its kind so lots and lots of people all throughout the town they'll come to our university and check out all the different departments all the clubs that are having their own little booths there will be a variety of booths from all sorts of departments and of course my club the Animal Science Society is under the Animal Biosciences Department we're going to be hosting a barbecue giving out some free balloons to the kids and also we have a coloring station so that the parents can get a little break before they head over to the other places. So that's something that we've been kind of organizing and getting our college royal execs to work on since the start of the semester and they did a wonderful job organizing all of this. And I also got helium trained so that I can blow balloons up using the helium tank. I also like to dress up for the kids and last year I dressed up in my giraffe onesie. They loved it and this year I have a unicorn one so hopefully they will enjoy seeing me in that costume. Since I've been part of Animal Science Society for the past three years, I've never actually seen the rest of the open house. I've only ever seen the barn and my own booth which is the balloon and barbecue area. So I've never really seen the other exhibits, the other food items that are being sold. Oh, but I did try the milkshakes last year and I really want to do that again. But who knows how it'll go. Hopefully people will come visit us, stop by. And at the end of the day, this is more of a community kind of thing to bring everyone together and show the kids the university so that they might be familiar with it when they grow up and have to come here. So it's going to be fun. I'm excited and yeah, let's check it out. Come on. 
balloon duty and I'm Running low on balloons, so we need to get some more later. Here's I'm going on a milkshake break, so I'm going to go to the food science building and get some of their delicious chocolate or vanilla. I'm not sure which one I want to get. I think I'll just go with the classic chocolate, but they have a special mystery flavor that's pink. So I'm going to check that out, see if they still have any. got the mystery milkshake flavor. I know it looks like Pepto-Bismol. Back to the balloons. First day of College Royal done. We are cleaned up and we'll set it all up again tomorrow. I was doing the helium all day today. I'm so tired and my fingers hurt from making the balloons. And look how cute this is. We have this Siamese twins balloon. They're attached to each other. And then one of our execs, she's really good at drawing and she drew this. It's so cute. We got all our supplies here. I'll be back here tomorrow morning once again in my unicorn onesie and then hopefully I'll have a little bit of time to actually see the open house and maybe check out the farm animals. Okay, see you tomorrow. It's day two of the open house and I got some pamphlets heading over to my club display now. It's just across the street from the science complex. I'm back at the animal science building. It's a much nicer day today, a little warmer than yesterday. Oh, I have a whole bunch more balloons that I gotta fill up. I didn't even eat breakfast yet, so I'm just gonna eat a little snack bar and then start blowing up some more healing balloons. So every year, along with the arts table, where you can do coloring, we have a barbecue and we sell drinks and two types of burgers, beef and veggie. We also got these signs that we will put out at the front so that all the kids and their parents know where to come. Uh, and it's very, very tiring, but also rewarding when you see those kids so happy. We also have a whole bunch of posters. These all have different animals and you can learn about them. I'm in the barn. Here are some hosting cows. Oh, look at all the chickens. Alpacas! The open house is over now and I have to head back to clean up and store everything away in my townhouse. I'm back home and I am so tired, I don't want to do any work, so I'm just taking a break with my Wii U that I don't use for playing games. I only use it to watch YouTube videos. Looks like spring is coming. Dinner time. So that is it for week nine of school. Can't believe it's almost over. I have Three more weeks of classes and then exams and then I am free. Actually, no, I'm considering taking some summer courses, which I think I'll explain next time. Okay, see you next week.
is looking terrible. I don't know what happened. 